hello there, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to create more than they will be talking about. My 10 favorite prepper items and gear. This is gear that I personally use and test it and fully recommend. But first, if you're new here, then subscribe to my channel and the bell notification icon to be notified each time that I upload a new video. You're probably also wondering where did them create more? Get this awesome t-shirt. I'll tell you what, I'll put a link in the description box below where you can go check this out for yourself and purchase one just like it. Over the years I've had several larger generators. By far this is my favorite. This is a whole lot smaller, it's lighter, easier to move around, and it's quiet. It's uh, really fuel efficient. It's a little bit more expensive, a little more expensive than the common generators you get at that like Aces Hardware. Those run about from those run usually around four to five hundred dollars last time I checked. And this will run like twelve hundred dollars on Amazon. But it's really, it's actually well worth it. It's really good, it's really quiet. And I start this thing up and I'll let you hear how quiet it is. This is by far the favorite generator that I've had. Like I said, like I already said, the main thing I like about this generator is it's quiet, fuel efficient, and it's lightweight. This thing is easy to pack around to take to uh, camping, uh, bugging out to a new bug out location. Like you have a cabin somewhere you want to bug out to, you simply take this thing and pack it right up and it's easy to take with you. It's easy to carry. You need to carry this thing for a couple of miles to get to your bug out location, to your bug out cabin, your secret hiding place. And that's easy to carry. It's a whole lot easier to carry than the full size generators. I suppose you can carry one of those too, but it'd be a whole lot more work. So why, why work harder than you have to? I have a full review of this Honda generator on my blog, and I'll link to that review up here in the card in this video. You can click on that and go to the my blog and read my full review of this generator. Another one of my favorite prepper items is the Homeless Portable Solar Power Generator. This thing is great. Again, it's, I like it because it's lightweight, it's portable. You can pack this thing up in your truck or RV and head to your bug out location. It's also good to use for power allergies and things like that. Because okay. you can use this, you can actually use this. You can actually charge this up and use this inside your home without worrying about carbon monoxide poisoning like you would with the generator. You have to use this outside, of course. You can take this inside and use this inside your home to plug in the lights, radio, or whatever. Because of these solar panels, you can also use the generator with the supplied cord that comes with the homeless. You can plug it into the homeless, into the generator. You can fire the generator up and use the generator for what you need to use the generator for, like uh, run tools and things. At the same time, you can be charging your battery up with this homeless generator. It works out well that way. And way you can use the same amount of gas to do your work, like running tools and things like that. At the same time, you're charging this up. So it really doesn't cost anything to charge this up using the generator. Or of course you can use and of course you can use the solar panels also. And anyway, this has been really good and it's, like I said, it's kind of expensive the system is. The generator and the panels are around, I think it's around three thousand dollars. That's I remember it's been a long time. I've had this I've had this about I think I've had this like five years and it's worked really well during parameters and things like that. And it would also work well in a complete grid done situation, that's for sure. But, Homeless, reliable power system. And the solar panels recommended.
Okay, this is another one of my favorite prepper items. This is the Sunjack Solar Charger. This is the 20 watt version. It's uh simply folds out to four panel monocrystalline solar charger. You can charge you can charge anything that uh, USB any type of USB device. It has its own storage compartment back here. We keep your batteries and things like that, and uh, it works really well. It's good for for charging batteries and things like that, and your cell phone and everything. It's good to take camping. It's good for bug out situations. It's, uh, I think this is like 150 bucks last time I checked. I've had this one for a couple of years, and it's worked really well. You can also get this little Sun Jack accessory that allows you to charge AAA and AA batteries. And I, this is really recommended because a lot of things I use, a lot of things you probably use, are powered by AA and AAA batteries. This is recommended. I, I, got, I think this is like $25 or something like that, I think. And I think this runs about $150 on Amazon. I'm not 100% sure. I think it'll need to look at the prices. I will uh, include links in the description below to all this stuff. You can go check it out and check the current prices. Because the prices change so much, it's hard to say off my head right now what the prices are. I've had this for a couple of years, and it's worked really well. It's good to take on hunting trips, camping trips. It's good to take on backpacking trips. It just, anywhere you need portable power, this is recommended. And I recommend getting the 20 watt version over to other versions. But anyway, let's go look at the next item in my top 10 list. This is an Eco Zoom Versa rocket stove. And it is one of my favorite prepper items. In fact, out of everything that we've looked at so far, if I could just use only one of those items, it would be this rocket stove. This thing is awesome. You go to cook your meals, and one of the things I like about this rocket stove is that it uh, produces very little smoke compared to a normal campfire, normal cooking fire. I mean, you can start cooking on this stove and you can't really see any smoke coming out of it. So it's good at hiding your location if that's uh, something you need to do. It uses uh, multiple fuel sources, such as wood that's easy to find. It uses charcoal. It's, like I said, it's very efficient, works really well, and puts off very little smoke. And I think it's like $120 on Amazon. Like I said, I'll link down in the description below to all this stuff. You can check out the current prices. I've had this thing for a while. As you can see it's been used. But it uh, works really well. And if you're looking for a way to cook, they use multiple fuel and puts out very little bit of smoke, if any. Puts out very, I can't tell if it's any smoke, but it still puts out some smoke. But you can see very little smoke. But it works really well and recommended. Of course, you can build a rocket stove out of concrete block and things like that. But in my experience, this EcoZoom Versa rocket stove is, works far better. And it's my full recommendation. And another one of my favorite prepping items is the All American Sun Oven. Sure, you can make these like you can make a rocket stove. And I found this works a whole lot better than the homemade versions. It's a couple, It's about $200, maybe $250, I think. Like I said, I don't remember these prices exactly. It's been so long since I've had this, since I bought this stuff. And, uh, but it's works really well if you have sun you can bake you can bake bread you can bake rolls you can bake chicken whatever needs to be baked pizza whatever you have this if you have sun you can bake it in this sun oven it heats up really quickly and it works really efficiently it uses no fuel no energy it gets its energy from the sun so once you have this thing you can cook for free or bake for free I mean very useful and recommended okay let's talk a little bit about everyone's favorite subject survival knives. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of the Mora knives. My favorite though is probably the Mora Bushcraft Black. You can see this has been used extensively. This is actually the one I used in this video review I'll link to up here in the video card above. But this is a really good knife. It's uh, got a thicker blade than a typical Mora knife. It has a fire steel and very good knife, and it's probably my favorite fixed blade knife because it's sharp, it's tough, it's durable. I love the grip. It's got the, like a rubber type grip on it, which is really good for when you're skinning game and things like that. Your hands are wet and keeps your hand from slipping because of the rubber. But it works really well and recommended. But all more knives are, that I've had are good and are well worth the price. I think this one is about 65 bucks. You can get it a little cheaper for a plain knife, but I think if you get it with the uh, far steel, it's a little bit more expensive. But recommend it. One of my favorite fixed blade knives, especially for the weight. I have one of these in 
my bug out bag. I have one of these in my toolbox in my truck, and I carry one of these when I hunt. My second favorite knife in the large knives is uh, this Ontario USA Bowie knife. This thing is really heavy duty. You can see the blade is really thick, and it's really sharp for a bowie knife. Well balanced. It make Jim Bowie proud. It's perfectly made. It's a wonderful knife, and recommend it. Okay, let's talk a little bit about my favorite prepper tool. This is prepper tool, homesteading tool. They all work the same for me anyway, because prepping to me is about self-sufficiency. So you have prepper items and homesteading items, but to me they're all the same. They all blend in together. But anyway, good chainsaw. I've had this steel mini farm boss for I think since 2010, 2011, and this thing has been used and worked. I mean, it has had. I think, and the only thing I've done to this saw is change the chain. Everything else, I've not done anything to it. Change the chain, add bar oil, and add uh, fuel. It's been a wonderful saw, and I've not even changed the plug in this thing since I bought it, and it still runs like a brand new one. I mean, it's awesome. It's been an awesome saw. I love steel chainsaws. And if you're going to get a chainsaw, get a steel. It's my recommendation. Okay, let's talk a little bit about gardening tools. This is my favorite gardening hole. This is a, a True Pro, a professional grade garden hole. Really heavy duty, it's really well made. You can see, looking at the typical garden hole, like sort of ACs, hardware, places like that, you can see the difference in the size, the difference in the thickness. It's a much heavier duty and works really well at digging and weeding. It's, uh, if you're going to raise a survival garden, and you should, I recommend you get one of these holes. It'll last you a lifetime. Okay, then, back to cooking items. This is my favorite. Grain mill. This is a Wonder Junior grain mill. Uh, works really well. You can just simply bolt it onto the table, secure it to the table with these clamps, and so it's portable. You can move it around any place you want to move it to. It works really well. You can also get an adapter, which I have. You can put, you can replace this, that you can replace this handle with. You can use a drill to uh, grind your grains. It comes with uh, different uh, stone wheels and uh, metal grinding wheels. It works really well, and by far my favorite grain mill. And as with the rest of these items I'm talking about today, I will put a link in the description below to Amazon. You can go check these out and check the prices on these. And while we're on the subject of grain mills, this is my second favorite grain mill. This is Corona. This is the one that was actually uh, sold by Kurt Saxon years and years ago. Some of you probably don't remember Kurt Saxon, but he was uh, one of the founders of survivalism. Even way back in the 70s, he was talking about survivalism and grains, and uh, this is the meal that he recommended. It works really well, it's strong, it's well made. The only trouble with this meal is that it grinds the grain sort of coarse, so you'll need a, a sifter to put under the bottom of this. I'm, I'll make another video about that. You make a grain sifter to put under here that catches the uh, bigger grain particles, and uh, like wheat, corn, whatever you're grinding, and uh, you can take the smaller grains will follow through the screen. The bigger grains will be on the screen still. Yes, you can take those bigger grains and put back into the hopper and grind those again. And keep doing that until you end up with a really fine grain that's suitable for making bread and things. But overall, this is a really good meal. It's really cheap. It's uh, around 50 bucks, I think, and it's uh, recommended. It's a good backup meal or it's a good alternative to the one I just showed a minute ago, the Wonder Junior Mill. But uh, like I said, you've got to grind the grains a couple of times. Sometimes you do it with the Wonder Mill too. So this is definitely an alternative if you're looking to save a little bit of money. Okay, this is the Voyager Pro. It's a little AM and FM radio shortwave. 
it will run off us. Got its own little solar panel. It uh, had its own crank. Had its own flashlight. Made into it. Runs off of uh, AA batteries. This thing is just awesome. It works really well. And uh, it's got the temperature. Right now it's 79 degrees. 61% humidity. I mean, it's awesome. It has just about everything on it. No weather alert. If you want a radio to keep you informed of what's going on in a grid down situation, and this is the one right here because you can get, like I said, a shortwave also. So you can hear broadcast from thousands of miles away if the weather's just right. I'm not going to get into all this radio stuff right now because it's kind of complicated. To be honest about it, I'm not an expert myself. I know this radio works well. I know I've listened to a lot of broadcasts of this thing, and it's uh, recommended. Multiple power sources, solar, crank, batteries. I mean, it has everything. It works really well. I think it's like 65 bucks on Amazon. And once again, I will include a link in the description below so you can check that out. But I've not found anything better. I highly recommend it. And finally, for two-way communications around the Homestead or Bugout location, my favorite is MERS Dakota Alert Radios. This is a, they make other models of this that works on the same system. That uh, this works. This also works with my uh, driveway alarms and motion alarms on my property. So it serves two purposes. It serves with the alarms and it serves for two-way communications. Uh, range I've tested this, and depending on the time of year, if the trees are like they are now and they have a lot of leaves on the trees, range is limited to about a mile. If uh, in the fall on when the leaves are off in the winter, range is two miles, three miles. Depends on how the land lays, but as, as with any radio, your range is going to vary, but these work really well, and another thing I like about these is that not, and most people will not be using this type of radio for two-way communications, so you'll pretty much have the airwaves to yourself, and it'll be more secure. Maybe not now, because I made this video, I hope so, but anyway, these work really well, and I recommend it for preppers and prepper groups and families to stay in communication with each other during a grid down situation or anything like that. When cell phones are down, these are still working unless you have batteries. And these run off of AA batteries, which I showed you a charger a minute ago, that you can recharge AA batteries. So, but anyway, this has been a long video. It's been an interesting video. Been a lot of work putting this video together. Uh, also, I will include a link in the description below to my blog where you can go check out all this gear uh, on my recommended products page, all this gear and other gear on my recommended products page. But anyway, let's get this video put together. You can tell this is video was shot in uh, multiple sections because I had to get everything together to shoot this video. I wish it had been one continuous video, but it's about impossible to make that way because I had to get all the, everything together at different times and put the camera at different angles and such and things like that. But anyway, I'll put this video together and get it uploaded to YouTube. And once again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do that. Click the notification icon to be notified when I upload future videos. Thanks for watching. M. New Creekmore signing off.